Hello and welcome to the Pathways to Results or PTR series of webinars. This is the first webinar of three in this series and I will be covering the Engagement and Commitment module. Before diving into the Engagement and Commitment module, I will briefly cover OCCRL's mission. OCCRL's researchers study policies, programs, and practices designed to enhance outcomes for diverse youth and adults who seek to transition to and through college to employment. OCCRL's mission stretches across four key areas seen on the screen. Public engagement, equity-driven change, transformative leadership, and comprehensive P-20 through educational pathways. PTR is about finding and focusing on equity gaps of marginalized communities. We are interested in issues of race, class, gender, ability status, veteran students, adult learners, the LBGTQ community, and everywhere in between. If there is an equity gap that is affecting vulnerable populations, we hone in and focus on the equity gap to improve student outcomes. There are five core processes in the PTR model. There is the equity and outcomes assessment, engagement and commitment module, process and practice assessment, improvement and evaluation module, and the review and reflection module. In this video, I will cover the engagement and commitment module. It is also important to note that you will always be in a constant review and reflection state throughout each core process in the PTR model. One of the important features of the engagement and commitment module is forming a partnership or forming partnerships. You must form partnerships in order to convene a PTR team. Once you have your team convened, it is very important to go over what equity and equity mindedness means to your team and to your project. Once all of these steps are done, as I have said on the previous slide, you will go into a mode of review and reflection. In terms of forming partnerships, it is important to have secondary and transfer partners, business and industry leaders, community-based organizations, policymakers, and workforce development. All of these partnerships are important in terms of forming your PTR team and making sure that the right people are at the table in order to ensure student success. Institutional researchers are very important in terms of sorting and gathering data and really understanding where equity gaps may lie at a program, college, or institutional level. Academic leadership and faculty are huge in terms of recognizing issues and implementing changes to close equity gaps. Student support services will help in providing an understanding of processes and practices that best serve students. And lastly, student, students themselves may be included in the convening of a PTR team because student voice is very important and your team needs to hear what students are experiencing in your program and at your institution. There is a quote on your screen at the moment, and I am not going to cover the entire quote, but I encourage you to pause the video and talk through this quote with your core PTR team. Part of the quote reads, the difference in college enrollment and college completion among historically marginalized and white 
and affluent populations have widened, suggesting that post-secondary education remains separate and unequal." End quote. Clearly, American higher education has an equity problem, especially when looking at race and gender, or the intersections of race and gender. Applying an equity lens does not mean treating all students or individuals in the same way. Equity in this context means investing resources and designing programs that address the needs of students with different experiences and educational backgrounds. Targeted investment and program design should produce equal outcomes, the ultimate goal of an equity-minded process. There are two pictures on your screen, one for equity and one for equality. I will go over the picture for equality first. If all of the runners started from the same line, then the athletes in the outer lanes would have to run further than the athletes in the inner lanes because of the semicircles at the top and bottom of the track. Moving to the second photo on equity. So each lane has to have a special starting position so they all run the same distance. So while it may appear the yellow and red runners are getting a head start, they are actually being placed in the correct position on the track in order to run the same distance as the blue runner. We need to make sure that students from historically marginalized populations gain the starting places that best support their needs in order to make sure they run the same distance as students that come from historically privileged backgrounds. The key is getting every student group what they need in order to be successful. As I have already said throughout this webinar, you and your team will be in a constant state of review and reflection throughout the PTR process. For the engagement and commitment module, this looks like asking tough questions around how pathways are improving, how are diverse student groups being affected, and does the PTR study align with the goals of the program and its partners? Finally, if you have any questions about this webinar or any other webinar, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Office of Community College Research and Leadership. Thank you.